Watcher in the Woods, 1981, directed by John Ho, starring Lynn Holly Johnson, Kyle Richards, and Betty Davis. A family moves into a house on the British countryside, where the daughters find themselves getting pulled into a supernatural mystery involving the surrounding woods. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. Disney and horror. No one really associates the two unless you're talking to Star Wars fans. During the 80s, the franchise Mangling Juggernaut tried branching out into other markets. They tried branching into sci-fi with films like The Black Hole and Tron, and they tried branching into horror with this film. Now, this is a PG film, so it's obvious they were trying to make a film for the whole family here. Don't expect Amityville or Evil Dead caliber scares in this one. The unseen forces do cause young Ellie to write something utterly terrifying on a window, though. Karen! Better look out, she'll be asking to speak to the manager next. A family of four moves into the house, though mom and dad end up taking a backseat as the film focuses on the two daughters. The young actresses do a fairly admirable job carrying the film overall. With Lynn Holly Johnson becoming the detective of the family, and Kyle Richards convincingly portraying someone sensitive to the paranormal. Director John Ho seemed to understand the assignment as well, going as far as utilizing the same house that appeared in the 1963 classic The Haunting. Both films rely more on sound and atmosphere than frightening visuals to attempt scaring audiences. The influence is noticeable. The biggest problem the film had was unsurprisingly studio interference. They kept telling Ho to tone the scares down. This leaves the film feeling incredibly tame and no more than occasionally eerie at best, which makes you wonder why Disney considered making a horror film in the first place if they were just going to oppose scares in a scare e movie. Stanley Meyer's score is distractingly evocative of the Jaws theme as well. I started expecting a shark fin to pop up after a while. The original ending saw the film veer sharply into sci fi territory with the mysterious Watcher in the Woods revealed to be a malevolent winged creature from another world, and the film's climax happening on the inside of his spaceship. Test audiences hated the abrupt tonal shift, so it was scrapped. This left Disney with a crisis. Suddenly their film had no ending. As many as 152 different possible endings were considered before the studio settled for the one that ultimately appears in the film. The turbulent production and efforts to salvage the film ultimately hobbled the final product. Which is sad as there's hints of a good horror film tucked underneath the layers of studio interference, reshoots, and editing. Verdict? Meh. A fascinating relic from an iconic studio's experimental 80s phase. But if a Watcher of the Woods is screened in the forest and no one is around to see it, that might not necessarily be a bad thing. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.